What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Rhett, here. Um, today talking to you about five things not to fucking buy straight out of boot camp. Now, these are my opinion. The main goal of this video is to try to save you some money because a lot of people that get out of boot camp, most of you guys are going to be 18 years old. This is probably your first job coming straight out of high school and it's your first time actually having some money of your own, especially because you're going to have a good chunk of change saved up from being in boot camp and not save, uh, spending it. So you're going to be like, well, shit, I'm going to buy some shit. And I'm going to try to tell you not to do that, or at least as much to the best of your ability not to. Um, luckily for me, um, I'm a little older than most people. I'm 23 going in the military. Um, I only bought one of these that I put on my list. Most of this list is comprised of what else I've seen from people. And I'm like, hey, what did you buy that you regret? Or what I see people buy, and I'm like, you're a dumbass. All right, so start out. These are in no particular order. Number one, don't buy a fucking car. Okay, I'm going to say this again. A little closer, make sure you didn't hear me. Don't buy a fucking car, okay? My reason being is because, the, well, the main reason is, one, most day schools, at least in the Navy, you're not even allowed driving privileges on base so that's that's the main one even though there's ways around that I'm not gonna tell you because I'm not gonna encourage you um, but the other reason is when you go from your a school <clears throat> to your first permanent duty station for example I'm going to Guam they're not gonna ship your car so if I buy a car here in Chicago and then I go to Guam in April they're not gonna pay to ship my car over there so you're gonna have to pay for it so now if I bought a car in Guam and then I go to another duty station, they'll ship it. Um, yeah, so you're just going to be wasting money. Another thing, you can't even use it here anyway. Like the people I've seen that bought a car, they like, they park it out by the train station and they only use it on the weekends. I mean, it's, just, I, it's pointless. It's pointless. Um, all right, moving on. Again, if you're offended by my language, I'm not here on YouTube to make money, so I don't care if they demonetize videos. Um, but if you're offended by my language, you should probably rethink joining the Navy or the military in general because we, we swear a lot. There's a reason they say swear like a sailor. So, all right, number two, an engagement ring. Again, these are my opinions. There are certain situations or whatever that, you know, I don't know your situation, but I'm going to tell you my reasoning. I got engaged in 19, didn't work out. So it's not like I'm, I was never in a situation where I bought an engagement ring, because I did. And I, I wasted my money. Um, my reason being is because, one, you're going into A school. A school, I've never heard, I've heard of like one A school engagement that actually worked out. One. And I've heard a lot of stories. So especially don't get engaged to someone that's like active military. That's not going to work because you're going to go somewhere, they're going to go somewhere. You're going to be nowhere near each other. Um, I don't care what your recruiter told you about how that might work. They tell a whole lot of white lies. So you got to look into all that stuff for yourself. Another reason, let's say you, you've you been dating your significant other for years now. I would suggest don't buy an engagement ring until you get back from your first deployment reason being is because you could get married and then they, you go on deployment and you come back and she you realize that she's not as strong as she thought she was when it comes to that six to nine month deployment excuse me um and that separation could you know end that relationship and it'd be better it's less paperwork if you weren't married so the bah and the bas don't make those your motivation for getting married. Don't do it, that's, it's t that's a terrible decision. If you want more, feel free to hate on me in the comments for that one, that's, that's up to you. I'm, just, I'm not saying, oh, break up with your significant other, I'm just saying don't get married right away. Just, you know, wait, have that conversation with them at least. All right, moving on, because I could go all day on that. Uh, don't buy a big ass TV. Don't buy a big ass TV. If I have to repeat myself, it's probably something fucking important. Don't buy a big ass TV. 
Reason being, I'm not saying don't buy a TV. Because my room is pretty small. I'm not like gaming with like a whole bunch of people. And it's not like I'm having people over to watch the Super Bowl or anything. Like I, I have an Xbox. I have a TV. But it's a small TV. It fits in my suitcase. At the next, they have some TVs that are like, like this big. If you're sitting three feet away from it, that's more than enough. And the thing is, it's like the size of a laptop. Like that thing is super good for traveling. I would actually recommend you buy that one if you have a gaming system. But don't buy a big TV, anything bigger than like, like 30 inches, hell no. Reason being, because most of your A schools are not very long. Unless you're a nuke or like something dealing with electronics like a, an IT, ET, GSE, EMs, FCs, SE, anything submarine related. If your school is less than like nine months, don't do it. Because what's going to happen is everything on this list, I'm trying to help you save some money. And what's going to happen is you're going to buy this huge TV and then you're going to realize, well, shit, I can't fit it in my luggage to take with me to my my next duty station. So you're gonna end up giving it away or trying to sell it last minute because you didn't pay attention to what I said. So you're gonna end up losing a lot of money on that. Or you know you pack it up and you try to ship it, which is still gonna cost you more money. Or what if it gets broken when you ship it? So don't buy a big ass TV, maybe something small or buy like a like a Windows laptop you can hook your Xbox up to that. Um, all right, moving on. All right, this is the one that I, well, this is a two-part one. Don't buy the core form shoes or the Eisenhower jacket. Okay, this is one I bought. <clears throat> I bought core forms, right? They're like $90. They're automatically shined for you. I shine these with like Windex and they're shiny as shit. Um, do I regret buying them? No. If I'd gone back and... I don't regret buying them, but it would have saved me some money. Because really, the only reason I bought those is because I'm fucking lazy. I shine my boots. They look really nice. But when it comes to shining my, my dress shoes, I hate doing it. Plus, for me, it's not a big deal because... Here, here's what, Okay, let me explain why you shouldn't buy these. These are not authorized on most watches on ships so you really can only wear them on shore duty so if you're like a recruiter or an instructor or an RDC or an NMTI something like that um, yeah those are the only times you really get to wear those other because the reason is these the plastic on it tends to melt so you can't wear them on ships um, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm an engineer and all my watches on ships are in coveralls so I'm wearing boots anyways so I'm never gonna stand a watch in these so anytime I wear dress shoes I'm gonna wear those anyway so that doesn't affect me that's why I don't regret buying them but for most of you probably not gonna be engineers probably gonna be topsiders or whatever um, and don't buy the Eisenhower jacket I didn't buy that it's like a hundred bucks the reason I say don't buy it they look really nice but they're phasing them out. That's why I'm saying not to buy them. They're phasing them out as they phase these in. I think they stop. They're not, no longer authorized sometime in 2019. So like a year. So, I mean, if you have a hundred bucks to blow and you just are, don't want to save it, by all means, go ahead and buy that jacket. <clears throat> um... Moving on. All right, last one. Don't buy anything with a payment plan or a financing plan. So that includes the car, but that also includes fancy watches. My roommate last weekend went out and he went to some fucking jewelry store and he got a 24 month payment plan on a watch. Granted, it's a nice ass watch, but it's not even in regulation, so he can't even wear it. Um, 24 month payment plan and it's like $80 a month that's a lot of money that's $80 times 24 months that's like $2,000 that's 
Why? This one, guess what? Guess what his watch does? It tells, it tells him what time it is, right? This one tells me what time it is. This one cost me $50. It does the same fucking thing his does. All right, so watches, jewelry, um, really expensive computers, for example, MacBooks or like gaming laptops. And then guitars for me, I, I play guitar. That's an, I'm not saying don't buy these things, I'm just saying don't get the financing plan because it's just more debt. Don't get yourself in debt. Don't spend money you don't have. So the caveat to that is save up, pay for it. So if you want that expensive watch, save for it and then buy it. You want that really nice guitar that costs $1,500, save up, buy it. Same thing for the laptops. I'm not saying don't buy them, I'm just saying don't get a payment plan because you're just gonna accumulate debt. And most of the time, these creditors are like, oh, you're in the military, it's an automatic paycheck, and you're gonna get a ridiculous interest rate on it. Like, his interest rate's like 20% on his watch. Which means he's gonna end up spending an extra like three, 400 bucks on that watch. <clears throat> Wasted, down the drain. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. Already too fucking long. Um, if you have any questions, want to hate on me for not telling you not to buy an engagement ring. Like I said, these are all my opinion. Just trying to help you guys out. Catch you later.